Hi guys, we're the Wolfmans and we are building our second dream home right across the street from our first custom home build. We are officially in the sexier part of the build, which is the finishes stage. And previously we've completed our flooring installation with tile and hardwood throughout, the trim installation with baseboards, window and door casing, and some beautiful accent paneled walls. And we also completed the cabinetry installation of our custom designed black and white contemporary kitchen, which is coming together beautifully so far. Over the last few months, we worked closely with our cabinetry supplier to design and finalize the cabinetry for a few other key areas of our house. So let's see how these designs are coming to life. All right, choosing some colors today. Not an easy decision, so many options. We're at Paris Kitchens today, uh, just looking at uh, Add some different colors for the bathrooms, the vanities, the laundry room, the mud room, all that fun stuff, the closets. Uh, they're taking care of everything for us. Couldn't be happier with the work and a little overwhelmed with our choice selection here, but we're gonna figure some cool stuff out. Since we have a direct entry from the garage into our home, we designed a dedicated space for a mudroom and we wanted to make it super functional with space to hang coats, have cubbies to store shoes and things like hats and scarves, and also have storage space for brooms and other essentials. On the second floor, we have our laundry room. And again, we wanted to keep it light, bright and fresh while making sure that it's very functional. It will hold a large side-by-side -side washer and dryer it will have a sink, countertop for folding, and lots of storage. And this next space is really near and dear to us. It's our master bathroom vanity. When we created the floor plans for our home, we left a very generous 13 foot wall for our vanity. So we really had lots of flexibility with what we could do here. We decided to create a his and hers vanity space with a makeup station in the middle and we framed it with two large towers that will be fully mirrored and will be stained in a darker gray color for some contrast against the white cabinetry. Let's see how it comes together. Last few months we've been working on our family room feature wall and the design has been evolving as we made a last minute change to add a three-sided glass fireplace we tiled the floor to ceiling fireplace wall and we also ran our hardwood vertically up the back wall now it's time to install the built-ins around it which include floating bottom cabinets and thick white shelves which will later have accent lighting added to them stuff here's the real stuff I am annoyed with my bride right now so we've had our closet designs ready for probably seven or eight weeks now and we're finally ready to sign off on things and now she decides that she wants to review them because she's not happy and she wants to change things and we had seven weeks 
No, don't, don't, you don't. No, you, no, no. This one's, this is my rant. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay? Like, you had seven weeks. All you had to do was voice your opinion. It's no big deal to change it, but we're supposed to sign off tomorrow. And all of a sudden, she wants to completely redesign it tonight. It's ridiculous. This is one of the realities of building. It's annoying sometimes. But it's the reality. So, what do I do? I don't have a choice, do I? <laughs> <laughs> That's you laughing in the background. It's not funny. Here's the choice, though. I don't have a choice. You get to change it. But that decision needs to be made tonight. So if we need to be up all night, that's just fine. So my side of the story is this. Okay. Right now, I am very fortunate to have a huge, massive closet. It is really, really big. Okay. Now it's not optimized because it's a bit of an awkward shape. It's like an L shape, but I have a ton of shelves, a ton of hanging space. In our next house, my closet is getting smaller. Oh, I know. I, I feel I, for you. I am not. We've got a 12 by 10 foot closet. It's a bedroom for... It's still huge. It's still huge. I agree. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining over the size. The shape of it is becoming much better because it's going to be a nice open square. Okay? But the reality is in terms of the shelving space and in terms of the hanging space, it's getting smaller. So now I need to figure out where what kind of trade-offs I want to make and where I want to give up certain things and how do I want to lay things out. So I'm not satisfied with the design. I probably should have looked at it sooner. I didn't realize that we had to sign off on it by this week. Anyways, I need to go redesign my closet. And this is my closet coming together. Uh, so all the cabinetry is pretty much done and I have a big unit here with lots of drawers and I'm going to hang a nice big mirror on top and then I have some double hang over here and a really nice unit with lots of space for shoes and like a little display unit in the middle for some purses, some more long hang over here for dresses and gowns and then lots of shelving and even a little built-in space for a hamper. So, loving this closet. Can't wait to move in here. Here is Josh's closet. Look at good. Nice color choice. Thanks for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed this video as we continued the installation of our cabinetry and showed you how our custom designs come to life throughout our home. Please leave us a comment or a like to let us know your thoughts and be sure to subscribe to follow along our home building journey. In the next episodes, we continue with our home finishes like countertops, appliances, and fixtures, as well as make some progress on the exterior of the house. So make sure to join us next time.